At 2 Preish Imlov through Kung Eastern Time today, December 24th, Breakthrough Listen released their final analysis of interstellar comet 3I Atlas. What their radio telescopes found, or rather didn't find, has reignited one of the most fascinating debates in modern astronomy. And it involves a name you know well, Professor Avi Loeb from Harvard. Welcome back. You've been following this story with us since July. We watched 3 Eye Atlas race through our solar system at impossible speeds. We documented its bizarre wobbling jets, its sun-facing anti-tail that defied conventional comet behavior, and we discussed the controversy, NASA saying natural comet, Harvard's AV Loeb suggesting we cannot rule out artificial origin. Today we have new data, data that answers some questions, and as always with 3 Eye Atlas, raises new ones that are even more intriguing, but before we dive into what Breakthrough Listen discovered, I want to hear from you. Who do you think is right in this debate? Drop a comment right now, Team NASA or Team Loeb? And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button because this story is far from over. The comet is now 1.81 astronomical units from Earth, magnitude 13, fading into darkness. Its closest approach to our planet happened five days ago, December 19th. But the scientific investigation? That's just heating up. Let me tell you what Breakthrough Listen found. For those unfamiliar, Breakthrough Listen is a $100 million project funded by Yuri Milner, designed to search for signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. They have the world's most sensitive radio telescopes, and for weeks they've been scanning 3 i Atlas across multiple frequencies. The result? Silence. No artificial radio transmissions, no signals, nothing that would suggest technology. Now here's where it gets interesting. NASA's official position, restated today, is clear. The wobbling jets, the unusual cyanide chemistry, the anti-tail behavior, all of this can be explained by natural outgassing, ice vaporizing unevenly as the comet rotates. Physics we understand, nothing mysterious, but Professor Loeb, and I find this fascinating, isn't backing down. His response to the breakthrough listen results, the absence of radio signals doesn't prove natural origin. An interstellar probe designed for observation wouldn't necessarily broadcast. Think about that for a moment. We're having a serious scientific debate about whether an object from another star system could be artificial, not in science fiction. In peer-reviewed astronomy, in 2025, what does the data actually tell us? Here's what we know today that we didn't know last week. The Parker Solar Probe, NASA just released this, captured 3i Atlas with its whisper camera between October 18th and November 5th. 10 images per day while the spacecraft was close to the sun. And those images show something NASA describes carefully as small perturbations compatible with outgassing. Compatible with, that's careful language. Meanwhile, the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, multiple Mars orbiters, they've all created what NASA calls a multi-mission observing effort. The most comprehensive data set ever assembled for an interstellar object. The chemical signature, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, water ice, cyanide compounds, all natural, all explainable. But the trajectory, that precise path calculation from the ExoMars trace gas orbiter we discussed in our last video, it's been refined again. And the refined data shows 3i Atlas came from a region of space that's 7 billion years old, older than our solar system. So here's my question for you, and I genuinely want your thoughts in the comments. Who's right? NASA with their natural comet explanation, backed by chemistry and physics? Or is Professor Loeb asking the right questions when he says extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, but so do extraordinary dismissals? Because here's what nobody's disputing. 3i Atlas will be the last interstellar visitor we see this clearly for years, maybe decades. It's fading now, in weeks invisible, in months beyond Pluto's orbit, in a few thousand years gone forever into interstellar space. And we'll be left with our data, our debates, and this question. In those seven billion years of travel, what did this object witness? What stars did it pass? What systems did it observe? We may never know if it was watching us, but we were certainly watching it. Thank you for following this journey with us. Write your thoughts below, Team NASA or Team Loeb, and if you believe more interstellar visitors pass through unnoticed, how many do you think? 10 per year? 100? Share your estimate. Until next time.